Hello, Gretzel. Thank you for joining me here in this follow-up on your trading game. Good morning, Gabriel. Really nice to talk to you here from Middle Earth, which is New Zealand, about two, hour, two and a half hours north of, of Wellington, which is the capital. And we have a beautiful river and um, our own mountain that we can go skiing with young kids. It's an amazing place. Different traders adapt their future systems to their specific needs. And yours is very specific uh, too. Uh, you're doing many other interesting things apart from trading, uh, right? I mean, you are a passionate family man. You have three young kids. You're already su a successful real estate in investor. You're basically already uh, financial free uh, from that. Uh, but as well, you are a full-time civil engineer. Um, so you have several income streams. And trading just helps you to diversify that. Is that correct? Yeah, that, that, that's the way I am. Um, I've uh, worked quite hard to, to set things up like that. Uh, Gabriel, certainly my family is the, um, is the core of everything. Um, and then, yeah, my work as a civil engineer, I work in a, in a water utility, so water services and provide water, you know, fresh water and, uh, you know, wastewater treatment services I uh, really enjoy it. It's part of who I am. Um, I, I always had a dream of becoming financially free. Financially free for me means to uh, replace all my active income by passive income. And for the last six to seven years, um, I've been working hard on real estate to create passive income. Uh, that's actually how I got to the Van Tharp Institute. I um, One of my teachers is, is Robert Kiyosaki, who came across an interview that he did with Van Tharp in 1998, I think it was. And it completely changed my life. It, it blew me away. I remember I was driving next to the road and, and I stopped. I, I stopped in the next town next to the road and I, and I bought a coffee and I just sat there listening to Van talking about the psychological aspect of trading. And up to that point, trading for me was, it was a bit of a mystery. You yeah. impressed me most with your tremendous growth in uh, yeah in, in your consciousness state. And as a result, I, I saw a big shift in your uh, in your trading. Um, I mean, putting a label on you, uh, I would I would label you that you're the, the busy family man, right? You're, you're having many interests and they're all important uh, to you. Um, so how does how does trading fit into your busy um, uh, lifestyle and family? I want to use trading to um, supplement my investment uh, and our income by uh, making a lot, making substantial um, capital gains through a trading business, a resources that I would then channel back to our investment uh, real estate investment portfolio to to okay. to acquire yeah. more passive income producing assets. I couldn't have done it without some of your work, uh, Gabriel, with uh, um, setting up the, the live market process and, and, and building it into my life. I thought always maybe it, it's it's too much. I'm taking on too much, but it's, it's surprising how much time you can create for yourself. And then there's all these other little bits of time that I found that I wasn't using very efficiently. I tried to channel that time To just take one step forward every week, you know, just just do one more thing in the direction that I want to go in, and then to my vision. So you're you're using trading as, as an income generator to uh, to buy further real estate, right? Why did you choose trading? There are several reasons. It's totally independent. It's just me. It's scalable. With trading, once you've got systems and procedures in place, you can scale your position size. I Just to get an understanding, what would be a typical day for you, like your daily routine uh, uh, trade, right. trading the markets? You don't trade five days per week, right? No, no, that would be too much for me, Gabriel. I only I trade up to three days a week. Um, some other days, I would just do a couple of hours in the morning or maybe a couple of hours in the evening. Depending on how my day goes, often there are disruptions, family disruptions. So then I just, I skip that session. Um, but my week starts, my week starts with no trading. And I start building up towards um, a good state for trading, a, a good peaceful state. I, life is for the living, right? And so for, um, and so trading supports all that and my life supports trading. That's how it has to be. Actually, try to be as diverse as I can with the time frames. I, I want many opportunities so that I can apply position sizing. 
And therefore, the, the lower time frames, I end up really just gravitating there. So that's from 15 seconds to about 15 minutes. And, and then also, I look at the, the, the longer time frames, the one week and the, and the four hour. And I like understanding those time frames because often I would see a, a larger pattern uh, trigger or, or it's in, in place. And then I, I know, well, that's where, we, that's where we would gonna have to focus on the lower time frames. And so three days a week, I would just take two hour blocks where I can find it. And I would just go and scan those time frames and see what I can find. Um, I'm the happiest if I can find a 15 second or even a one minute um, pattern because uh, I take it, I set my stops, I set my alarms, and it plays out within two to three hours. Yeah. Well, you had some fantastic uh, trades, right? And uh, and as well, you've attended the Futures Workshop a year ago. And uh, mm. when we started actually um, yeah, applying the systems, uh, simulating and then trading the, the live markets, demo trading, then real real money trading you've been consistent from from the very uh, beginning right i think your your first real money trade was it was a 10 hour winner which is quite spectacular right two and a half uh, months ago let's just show your graphs yeah that first winner was was a statistical outlier right <laughs> i didn't i didn't expect that i took it the evening before and the bond market was making a, a short frame pattern setup I took the trade and it kind of got to break even and I left the stop in the market overnight. It's great to have a good start. Typically, it doesn't start that smoothly, right? Let's have a look here. At, we were trading the, the live markets, right? And, and these are the weeks, that's so right. 22 weeks. That's five months till today, basically. Yeah. And these are our minimum uh, monthly and, and weekly R goals. And you're basically right right in there, right? You're above the monthly R goal. Well, you've, you've come close. And now yeah. you're basically getting back above uh, the, the weekly R goal. So these are very consistent results. Uh, that's really uh, fantastic. And if you look at your uh, real money um, trades here, and again, right. yeah, I mean, you're, you're well above and it looks very, very good. I mean, that's that's 30 hours, right, in, in the last two and a half months. Well, that's a fantastic that's result. Right starting off a mm -hmm. real money account. So how do you feel about trading trading real money now? Uh, really good. I, I was planning to start with real money much sooner, but then LMP, I got a reality check. If, if you go back to those graphs, you, you will see there's a few dips as well. Uh, and we talk a lot about the dip where I just felt now is the time to start. Um, if we don't, then we're just going to basically start spinning wheels um, and start small, start with a small position size. So it wasn't too new to trade real money. Um, I, I, I designed my own trend following system. I, I looked around for systems and I've been following your, your writings and teachings for a few years. Um, and I just uh, it just resonated really well with me. And I, I, I've got to say, this is probably one of the, the, the most important to go for you and for your systems, Gabriel, is when you started publishing your own mission you know, building a, a group of traders that really, that when, when I read that, it resonated with me. And I, I remember thinking, well, if that's your mission, I've got my mission, I can come and help you achieve your mission. Right, right. <laughs> we can work together. Yeah, good, yeah. good to hear. Good. Um, I've seen you grow immensely in, in consciousness. Um, over the last couple of uh, months. So how, how important is this, this consciousness growth, do you think, for your trading? I believe it is the most important um, element and it's at the core of everything, uh, not just trading, also, also how we approach life um, and go through life as, as being connected with, with God and, and having that spiritual uh, awareness um, and the, the idea of being in the now, that was a little bit foreign to me. Um, that's yeah. something I've learned. And, and through the, the exercises uh, we've done um, for trading preparation, you know, I always thought, oh, well, I am in the now. Yeah, I am. That's me. You know? um, <laughs> but that was very different from, from, uh, from what I discovered. Uh, did, did you find some spillover effect? Like, I mean, did, did this growth in, in consciousness have an impact on your family life? I have found that in your classes, we focused on the Enneagram. I found I'm a type nine, which is the peacemaker, often has a, a built in their own mind, has built a, a place of peace. And it's a bit, it's a little bit of an escape 
And so the issue I often had with uh, people around me and my family is they would say, oh, you're just away with the fairies, consciousness uh, growing. And, and um, suddenly this in the now, in the moment, is becoming more real. And, and uh, I'm having better interactions with my children and with my, and with my wife and with the people around me. So that, that is a great, um, that's an advantage I didn't really expect. I didn't expect to discover this in the first place. And there are places I want to go that is, that is even better. Sounds really fantastic how, uh, how things are developing for you, right? So I'm really happy, yeah. really happy for you. Yeah. Um, what recommendation do you have for somebody to start out? My number one thing um, is that whatever you believe is true. Uh, so if you believe that it's too hard, you won't have time, this is just, you know, it's just crazy to take on trading at the same time, that will be true for you. But if you are to allow yourself to reframe that belief, to say that uh, trading is part of looking after my family and, and looking after my family helps me to trade well or to learn to learn how to trade well, then I must do it. It's part of who I am. It's now part of my mission. I would say just go and see where, where do you get your beliefs from? Is it from other people around you that, that are naysayers? Or, or do you get it from useful sources like people who actually do it? There's a verse in the, in the Bible that my mom gave me when I was a, when I was a boy. Um, and uh, it said that I can, it's the Apostle Paul that wrote it. And, and it's a short verse. It says, I can do all things through God who gives me strength. I can do all things through God who gives me strength. Um, so if you adopt, I would like to encourage people to adopt that belief. Um, and then you would find resources and time and, and balance in your life to make this happen. And just take the first step. Um, it's something that George Washington said, and I, and I, li and I like it. And he said, uh, I don't move fast, but I move forward. And after several weeks, you would be amazed how far you've gone down the track. Find the, the route that is less traveled. There's the, there's the road that everyone goes by, and, and it's quite easy. It's the blue pill, you know, it's the blue pill. It's quite easy to go down that. But then there's the red pill, which is the road less traveled. And all you have to do is just take that first step and then find the next step and the next step and the next step, and you'll get there. Thank, thank you very much. And, yeah. um, thank you, Gabriel. Thank you for your time. Yeah, I want to thank you for everything and also the group that you formed around us. It would have been much harder and I would not be even nearly as close as I am now. I'm um, having my uh, life process set up that would have taken years. What we've achieved in the last less than a year is probably something that if I was to be left by myself would have been five, six years, if not more. Yeah, so thank you. Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot to Down Under. Bye-bye, Gabriel.